Hey you guys, it's Peter, and welcome to my channel. Peter likes books. All I want for Christmas is my two front teeth. Okay, so uh, Merry Christmas. What's this? Hi. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Are you tired of hearing that yet? Um, so today I'm going to do the uh, All I Want for Christmas book tag. Because <laughs> I love it so much. And I found it from the Hardback Hoarder, who I adore too. Oh my god, I love her videos. And right next to me is, you make a little appearance, is Lil Pee Pee. And uh, if you watch my videos on my other channels, you'll know. We recently found out that Lil Peeps has heart disease. I'm like literally a mess all the time. He just was having a coughing spell and I was like crying my eyes out. I was like, do I make a video? And then he jumped up here and he was like, dad, you can make it. He didn't say that obviously, but he just hopped up right next to me. So this is where we do videos. And he's always been right by my side when I was writing my book and writing my blogs and sleeps next to me every single night. And he's my little guy. I love him so much. And we are working really closely with the vet on the medication that he's on. And he just had dinner because he has to be on a very strict eating schedule. So we're very, very hopeful because he's my best friend in the whole world. So anyway, I just said that because I don't know if anybody watches my vlogs and other stuff. And PP's been in a lot of my booktube videos. So I like to let people know what's going on. So let's get into this. Number one, what fictional character do you want Santa to leave you under your Christmas tree? Hmm. Uh, okay, so I don't know <laughs> the character's name, <laughs> but the little robot friend of Cinder's, do you know what I'm talking about? That's who I want, although she's kinda, it's kind of tragic at the end, but I heard she does show up in other books. That's the only one of the series I've read. Um, uh, Uni or Uzi or Ozzy or Ona or something, do you guys, somebody leave it in the comment section below. Y'all know her name. Y'all read all the Marissa Myers books. I love her so much. So anyway. Um, yeah, I think that's who it is. I mean, I wouldn't want, like, a real character, like, a person. Uh, that would be weird, wouldn't it? To wake up on Christmas morning and be like, oh, what are you doing there? I'm in my sexy boxer shorts. <laughs> no, I don't need that. Okay, number two. What character do you want to kiss under the mistletoe? Okay, so, like, I've said this a million times. I hate when people put these kind of questions um, on the videos, even though I put the booktube crush. <laughs> because, I'll tell you why I don't like it because I'm 45 years old and I don't read a lot of adult books, <laughs> so. But I'm gonna go with the one that I always say, that's Bond, James Bond, <laughs> the Daniel Craig version. <laughs> that's very important, okay? We'll get out of the book and go to the movie for a second. God, I wish. Okay, number three, you write your Christmas list for Santa. What are the top five books on it? Um, God, I don't know, like that's so hard, you know? I have said on here that I want The Chronicles of Narnia for Christmas this year. Let me see what else I want. I really want to read some really like well-researched and thought out biographies or autobiographies of people that I love. I want the Francis Farmer biography so bad. You guys, I think it's what they ma they base the movie Francis on. Oh, I look for that all the time. I cannot find it. I said in a video the other day that I wanted the Water Babies and uh, the Christmas, the Box of Delights and uh, Jennifer sent it to me. So anyway, um, I don't know what books I want for Christmas. I don't, I think more what I want is a gift certificate to Barnes and Noble, a gift certificate to Half Price Books, a gift certificate to Thrift Books, a gift certificate to Book Depository, and the Chronicles of Narnia. I mean, you know, like, there you go. Is that fair? You're like, no, that's not fair. Okay, uh, number four, it's Secret Santa at Hogwarts. What do you most want to receive? Oh, that's a good question, but like, why Hogwarts? <laughs> Does that, why does it have to be Hogwarts? Why couldn't it just be, it's a secret Santa and what are you going to get? Um, I don't know. I always like got the worst shit for my secret Santa when I used to, when I worked. And um, it would always be like, you know, a bag of like rubber bands or, I mean, who does that for a Christmas present? Or they get me a candy that I can't stand like mounds. Does anybody like mounds? Nobody that likes mounds. If you like mounds, you're a weirdo. <laughs> no. Embrace your weirdness. If you want to like mounds, that's fine. But they are, ugh. <laughs> Zero bars are too. But anyway, this has kind of lost it. What do I want to receive? I want to receive 
a feather boa like my new favorite YouTuber, Amelia Fart. That's what I'm gonna say. No, I don't know what I want. What do I want for Christmas this year? World peace. No, I don't really want a whole lot. You know, it's, it's weird. Like, the older I've gotten, like, I, there, I was saying this to my husband the other night. We were, like, talking about, because we still do get Christmas presents for each other, because I think you should. It's romantical. And I made that word up, romantical. And, uh, you know, like, I mean, at least something. And he was like, what do you want? I was like, I don't know. What do you want? And we're going back and forth. And... You know, it's hard as I get older because there isn't really anything that I want. I mean, sure, like, I mean, I would love to have extravagant luxuries, but, like, I, do I need them? Absolutely not. And then I think, well, what would I really do with them if I got them? I don't know. Maybe, like, a new Patagonia coat or something like that. I'd like that. A new Patagonia coat. That's what I'd like to receive from my secret Santa. As if, you know, she'd get me a bag of rubber bands. Number five, you get to spend the day with the characters and movie adaptation actors from one fandom. What do you pick? Oh, my God. <laughs> Such a good question. Does this say air actors too? Could you spend a day with the characters and movie, movie adaptation? Oh, shoot. <gasps> That's so good. Well, if they were still alive, of course I'd have to say To Kill a Mockingbird. I mean, come on. It is like my, like, I have like a bucket list dream to meet um, the character, the woman that played Scout from To Kill a Mockingbird, uh, Mary Badham. She goes around and she speaks about To Kill a Mockingbird. Can somebody make that out there happen? It is, like, my dream to meet this woman, okay? Like, she has no idea. Like, Scout in the book, she is Scout to me. So, anyway. And she's also, like, 50 now or something. Um, okay. What fictional animal would you like to replace Rudolph and be able to meet on your roof? Well, I mean, Pee Pee the other reindeer. He basically kind of kiss. Aw, I love you, honey. He basically thinks his sister is all of the other reindeer. Did you ever see that book? What fictional character would I like to replace with Rudolph? I don't know. <laughs> That's kind of a silly question. I mean, I don't read those kind of books where there's all kind of fantastical beasts, beasts and creatures. <laughs> I just don't. I read contemporary young adult or adult books. I don't read those <laughs> fantastical beasts and creatures. <laughs> Why is that so funny to me? I don't even know. What would I replace it with? Um, <laughs> I don't even know. Okay, that guy that she meets. This is so bad because I haven't even read this book since I was a kid, but just because I'm thinking of it. In the Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe. That guy that she meets when she goes through the wardrobe the first time. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> They meet under that lamp. That's who. <laughs> I don't know what his name is or anything. He has that little house. I always wanted to go in that little house. Okay. Number seven, you invite 10 fictional characters to your New Year's Eve party. Who do you pick? Oh, seriously? Oh my God, this is so hard. Um, ten, I pick Ramona Blue. I pick, uh, from Ramona Blue. I pick Willow Dean from Dumplin'. Mm, Scout from To Kill a Mockingbird. Who else do I pick? This is like really, really hard. Um... I'm like looking over here. What are some of my favorite books? Um, I don't know. That's like so, that's such a hard question, isn't it? What other books would I pick? I'm like looking over here. Like what have I been reading lately? And um, Laura Ingalls Wilder. <laughs> She's not a, like a fictional character. She's real, but um, who else? I don't know. Maybe one of those kids from Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children. I didn't like the books, but I'd invite one of them. Maybe the girl that can float. I think that'd be real fun. I'd be like, girl, take me with you. Okay, and then, oh, Peter Pan and um, the monster in A Monster Calls because he's so wise. And who else? PB, who should we invite to our New Year's Eve party? If old acquaintance be forgot. Who, Pee Pee? Well, The Couple from Garden of Eden by Hemingway because they're just so too cool for words. Have you ever read that book? Okay, let's, that's it. I can't think of anybody else. My parties are a bust always anyway. Okay, and number eight, what character would make a good Santa? It doesn't have to be appearance. Personality counts too. Well, me, of course. People call, call me Santa all the time to be cruel. Um, what character would make a good Santa? Well, I think, why can't I think of anybody's name? The, you guys are going to kill me. You're going to, on this one alone, y'all are going to let me have it. Okay. Um, hold on a second. I'm going to look this one up because I don't want anybody coming for me. Okay. Um, so just, if old acquaintance, are we already at New Year's? Like Christmas hasn't even happened yet. Right. And, uh, can you even believe that we're that close to the end of the year? Um, where is it? 
Okay, Hagrid from Harry Potter would make, I think, the perfect Santa Claus. And if you don't believe me, I mean, as if you don't know who he is, let's just look up. I mean, come on, right? That's basically Santa Claus when he was younger. Don't we look exactly alike? Oh my God. Anyway, maybe I kiss him underneath the mistletoe. Ah! Okay, anyway, I love you guys. I wanna tag some people in this. Who do I wanna tag? Okay, I'm gonna tag Dylan the Reader 5, because I tag him in everything. And then I'm gonna tag Graham at Mega Man Chief Fan, because he never does these kind of fun booktube videos, and he's been off booktube for a while. Number three, I'm gonna tag somebody new that actually like reached out to me months ago, and I just started watching his videos a couple nights ago, and like, I don't know, he just he kind of reminds me of myself when I was his age a little bit. And his name is, oh my god, he's gonna kill me. Damien. His name does, is not pronounced the way that it looks. I, it's Damien Terriquez, but it's not pronounced that way because in one of his videos he said my last name is pronounced like Terriquez or something. So Damien. And um, I'm going to put him below. And um, you guys go check him out. I hope to God I'm like pronouncing his name right. Isn't that so embarrassing when you shout somebody out in a video and then like you go back and you go, oh my God, their name was really Judy Smith. Hold on just a second. Um, yep. Tariquez? Tariquez? I don't speak Spanish. I wish I did. Oh my god, he speaks like three languages. He speaks French, he speaks, not Portuguese, Spanish and English, but he can understand five languages. And he's a booktuber! And he's a fashionista. And he's a dancer! But is he Peter likes books? No. That's me. I'll talk to you guys later. I love you. Bye.